Hi guys, I'm Dr. Corey Barnes, Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences here at Shorter University. And I'm privileged to be in our new football locker room with our head coach, uh, Coach Zach Morrison, who is my friend and fellow Shorter alum. Um, so Coach, man, this is great. Talk to me about how this came about. You know, this was, this was 15 years in, in the making. Uh, you know, this was my locker room on the inaugural team 15 years ago. You walked in, it was the exact same space. It was the same metal lockers that, and there weren't entirely enough. The floors were carpet that just had some rips and had some stains. So this is something that we've been planning for the last year and a half since taking really up, taking over the program a little over two years ago. This is one of the plans that I had uh, in order to just renovate it and bring guys down here. There weren't many that we could, you know, in terms of recruiting, bring on campus and show our locker room space. Now we're extremely excited to bring players and potential student athletes, parents into the locker room and show this space off. So it was a lot of fundraising. It was a lot of reaching out. It was a lot of you know, talking to multiple donors, but we got it done and extremely proud of the space. Coach, one of the things that I love about your vision for uh, the football program, and, and it, it's something that I feel like extends out to shorter athletics and then just shorter as a whole, is your vision of brick by brick. Mm -hmm. I'm an Old Testament guy that's coming from Nehemiah. Yep. Man, talk to us about that and kind of talk to us about how that vision applies to the football team and applies to our biblical worldview at Shorter. So, you know, when I, when I got the job uh, to come back to Shorter, uh, first of all, it was such a blessing, such an honor to be here, but I started looking at things that had to be done. And then I started look, looking through the Old Testament and finding something that could I could relate to what we were doing. And I found the story of Nehemiah, which I'd read before, but I really got into it again. And I, and I really, I, I, I tell the, the players, the student athletes, Nehemiah 2.20, the God of heaven is the one who will give us success and we as servants are gonna start building. So we really had to start building this thing back up. And I, I've been mentioning brick by brick to them for the past two years now because it is a brick by brick mentality it's every single person involved within this program working to better it one percent better every single day that's the minimum that we're asking our guys so we're, we're asking for the the filmers the the coordinators the scout team guys the first team guys every single person is trying to better themselves every single day in the weight room on the field and in the classroom and that really that that can apply to every single athletic program in the school. I mean, we want our, our programs to grow uh, and it, to be a continuous growth. And we want it to be everyone involved stacking those bricks, brick by brick process. So that's something that's important to me. It's important to this program. It's something that the team has really uh, they've been leaning on the last couple of years because now it's become, you know, we, we talk about how just average teams, we can have really no one leading. We can have good teams where we can have coaches lead. We have elite teams, elite programs when we have player, player accountability. So this brick by brick process has really led to more player accountability and we're gonna see results on and off the field this next year. Yeah, well man, I'm so glad to, to hear that. As I look around, you know, one of the things I love about the locker room is you've got the name plates up. Yep. I look at these names and there's so many of these names that I can match, not only to a player on the field, but to a student in the classroom or a student who's sat across my, my desk in my office. And, and I do want to just encourage you, Coach, like that is happening not only on the field but in the classroom. And it's a, it's a wonderful extension of our mission at Shorter University. Our mission at Shorter is just very clear for all of us, whether it's athletics, staff, faculty, and it's the mission that we want every student to pick up. And that is advancing God's kingdom through a commitment to academic excellence, mm -hmm. spiritual growth, Christian leadership, global service, all through the context of a biblical worldview. And Coach, I want to thank you for bringing that mission to athletics. Yes, sir. And I'm so glad to, to serve alongside you in the mission of this university. Yes, man. sir. Yes. And right now, so we're making this video. We're in, uh, I mean, who knows what part of this whole COVID-19, uh, you know, worldwide crisis that we're in. But we want to send this message out, especially to the Hawks, to show you guys, our, our, our students and student athletes, the things that are going on right now on the Hill. So we know right now, life on the Hill, we've had to hit pause. We're hoping to be back sometimes in April. Um, but we want to let you know that as you're gone, Life on the Hill continues, and what we're doing is investing in the on-campus experience for you. Um, it's, it's a privilege for me to get to stand here, man, because I don't know if I've ever told you, I came and toured campus with some guys who were playing football. My introduction to Shorter University was in this room, or oh, Shorter College room yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as they came and toured for football, and then I went up on the Hill and toured uh, for some, some other programs. But I wanna, we want to let you guys know, even as the campus right now is, we've had to hit pause on student life on campus, 
what are we doing? We're gearing up for more and better student life when we get back. Athletics is such a huge part of that at Shorter. For our student athletes, but then also for our students that aren't athletes, what a privilege it is to come to a campus where you can go to football games and you can be at athletic events and have athletic life on campus. Hawks, here's what we want you to know. We're ready for you to be back on the hill. This is a decision that our administration has made out of the best interest of our students and of our community. And, and we are proud of the decision they've made for student safety. We also want each and every one of you guys ready for the moment that you get the call, come back to Shorter, and as soon as you do, know that what we've been doing in the meantime is working to make it an even better campus experience. Pray blessings on you guys. Coach, thanks so much for giving us time here to, to check this out. And, uh, and let us know, guys, if there's uh, any questions you have about what's happening on the Hill, uh, let your contacts on the Hill know. Thanks, guys.